welcome to the channel. I hope you enjoyed today's video and if you do please leave a like, comment and subscribe. It really helps us grow and it really helps us with the YouTube algorithm. Everything we do is for free and it costs you nothing to do this for free for me as well. Thank you, thank you very much. So today's video is available on itch.io, uh, well the video, the game is actually available on itch.io and also Steam. I got it from Steam for cheaper than a decent packet of crisps and this game is called Super Dungeon Muncher. Now if you could replace one of the words and maybe swap the word dungeon with carpet it would be a very different type of game and a game that we wouldn't likely be playing on this channel but no fortunately this is Super Dungeon Mun uh, Muncher and we will be playing this on the channel right now. So full disclosure. I have played it a little bit. You could see a high score of 300 because I wanted to see what was going on here, you know, and it's a good job that I did. So when you fire this up, let's hit fire now to start the game. And did you see those big teeth come down? They look really cool. We've got characters and we've only got one character that's available to us. Look, this is you. Um, but we can unlock other characters by doing different things, you know, breaking doors and stuff like this. So, you know, it was like, dear Lord God, at least we've got some progress done. So I want to do two things on this video. I want to unlock this character by breaking 100 doors down. And I want to beat the high score of 300 that I set on the test run that we had. So who are you? Well, we've only got one choice of who are we are, the GPC. And we're going into this mad, crazy game. So here we are, and doesn't it look cute? All you can do is move basically up, down, left and right, and your job is to avoid the eater of worlds, and look at him come down, you know, that big red thing there, that's whole purpose is to kill me, and I fell down a trap door. So this game that you'll notice when we go back into it in a moment's time is random. So the layout, you know, is different. You know, there are a couple of uh, things you may see repeat, so to speak, but predominantly, you know, it's different, you know, a lot of the times that you play, which makes it good, which makes it very good. And we managed to kill a spider. Now, it's a grid type game. So if you remember Dungeon Master, Oh, we're going to die. We're going to die. If you remember Dungeon Master on the Atari ST or the Amiga, where when you moved around, you move and the monsters move at the same time. That's exactly what you've got here. And look at that. We nearly, nearly beat the score that we wanted. Um, the only thing that continues in real time, even if you stand there, is that monster. So look, I'm going to stand there. He keeps eating. But if there was baddies on the screen, they would only move when I move. So move, move. And it shows you where they're going to go. So the spider's going to go down. And we can kind of avoid it a little bit with a little bit of careful planning. Come on. Oh, and we're gone. Okay, so that is a horrible passage to get through. Hopefully it won't reappear on the next playthrough. Because we got munched. But we got munched in a dungeon munch. Not a carpet munch. So everything is okay here. And this game is free for all kinds of audiences. Just don't use that joke at school. You'll get yourselves into trouble. Okay, we killed a spider, but <laughs> we're dead. So that trap door had appeared there. Um, and yeah, that, that, that's, a, that's a miserable way to go. That's a miserable way to go. All right, okay. We've got nowhere near breaking down the um, 50 doors that we want to be doing. You know, we've got to focus on that. There you go. We've got um, 51 doors to go. All right, okay. Try and get past this spider. Oh, we killed it. We killed it. All right. Okay. These ones here are going to be a bit of a problem. Come on, run, 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 run like your life depends on it. Because it bloody does depend on it because you're going to die. So I do hope that I am right that this is a mobile type game in what I say here because you know what I feel I need this on my phone you know I spend a lot of time playing pa ah, dead playing Pac-Man 256 how did we do yes so we got a new high school good one achievement so I spend a lot of time playing Pac-Man 256 and you know what I need a different game a different mobile game you know I've achieved all that I can achieve on Pac-Man 256, you know, and you, you could say 
Well, how do you know you've achieved all you can achieve? All I need to do is look at the certificate I've got on Twin Galaxies for it. But no, this, this, um, you know, it could be a suitable replacement. It looks cute. It looks good. I just have to hope, hope, hope we can get it on the mobile phone. All right, so we grabbed that heart and we've just learned that you don't get, um, you know, a full heart. So we're always stuck with three hearts. I wonder whether the other character unlocks give you, um, you know, different uh, abilities. Oh, and we died, we died. We had no choice but to try and fight that. But every hit is a hit for one of our hearts. And if we haven't got enough, we're going to be dead. So, you know, it's instant restart. You know what? I've played Defender. I was awful at Defender on one of the really early videos we did on this channel. And it looks to me... Okay. It looks to me... Come on, where's he going to go? Yeah, it looks to me that this is going to be just like Defender. There's going to be lots of playing, lots of rinsing, lots of repeating. But we have got to be on our way to unlocking a new character. Let's go home and have a look and see how far away the next one is. There, 30 more doors, 30 more doors. All right, let's carry on, let's carry on. We will count them together. We will be like Sesame Street. Sometimes on this channel, it's a little hard to decide what you're gonna play. Yes, I asked for viewer requests and, and stuff like that, but you know, the content that we play, you know, you can only play you know, games effectively as they come out. So, you know, sometimes we do a, a little bit of scraping around thinking what will be right for the channel. And we do go off track a little bit where we play, you know, things like this once in a while. And I think it's worth doing. I think it's worth doing. But, you know, what you'll see on the screen here is it's rather bright on the screen. And I'm waiting to this particular moment to do this. I'm looking at the words defeat. They're, they're quite good there. But we're going to go into the game and I'll show you what I'm in. So this is my one request and I got this from actually having a look at this to start off with, you know, where I got that original 300 score. On the PC version, I would like to see one change. And the change is simply this. Scan lines. I've added scan lines at the push of a button because I can do that. I've added scan lines at the push of a button to what we see here and for me it makes it look just a little bit better, diffuses the brightness you know a little bit. Oh okay we, we, we've got to wait. Oh come on. Oh we died, we died, we died. Yeah so I feel that it diffuses the brightness just a little bit and takes some of the sharpness away from it but scan lines always look good. Um, on video games, in my opinion. So the rest of this video is going to be brought to you with the Gentleman's Pixel Club scan lines added in. All right, come on, move out of the way, oh, you stupid things! Oh, it's so hard when you get like this. You know, you don't have time to think because you've got this red thing coming down perpetually at you. It's coming down, and you know, it's like it's eating my head. You know, what I want you to do on this gameplay is don't focus on the big screen. Look at me here in this webcam, and you've, you, you've got a muncher um, coming down to munch on the gentleman's head, and he died, he died. Well, watch it again, watch it again. If I could survive where he actually can't, I'm not killed by a bad guy, then you'll see exactly what I mean. Ah, oh, a door. And I, I've stopped counting the doors. So we've probably got 29 left to do. But yeah, look at the red thing. His arms are coming closer to my head. And you know, things are going to get a little bit spicy. Okay, let's go. Oh, we, we're going to be dead. Yes, run, 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 run. Okay, somehow I've avoided those spiders. I didn't actually think I could do that. Oh, by what killed me? By the beard of Christ! I think it was a spider. I think it was a spider. But yeah, look at the webcam. Look at the webcam. You've got this, this, this thing that eventually eats me in the head in the little webcam window. All right, down we go. Ah. Oh. And I got killed by that as well. We got smacked. All right, as I say, we're going to keep going. We're going to keep going until we have got one more character to see the difference. I think it's worth it. And if you can stick with me, we will be learning together. And look, that's two doors done in a row. Okay, we've got an axe. Blah. 
Okay, so the axe. Oh, the axe is our friend when it comes to the monsters. Oh no, we got attacked by mother hell. Maybe the axe isn't our friend. All right, okay, balls to that. New high score, <laughs> 340, and look at those three zeros there. I am not doing well here. I can't think quick enough um, with, with, with the panic of, of, of the monster munching down on us as we pass these toilets, the WC, that I can't get into. Okay, so we've got a hammer behind that axe. Uh, we might be able to get. Oh no, we can't. We're just so weak. We are so weak. Oh. I was trying to get that 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 that, that sore thing, but you know we're, we're just so weak. Maybe there's a strategy of not being so high up the screen. I don't know. Okay, well, I, I think we killed that thing and it killed us as well. Did you see its panicked eyes? All right, 50 points. That's so weak. We killed nothing. So, yeah, a lot of rinsing and repeating going on here, you know, but you can see how tough this game is going to be. Come on, come on, we need a heart. Oh, a bridge. Hello. And we died. You know what? We're going to have four more goes, and then we're going to have a look. We're going to have a look to see um, how close we are to unlocking the, 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 the um, thing that I want to unlock. We just see, we, we can't get by that. We, we've got no health. You know, this game is a perpetual death trap. So three more goes after this. And then we'll see how much progress we need uh, to get the next character. We might even do it. We could be a lot further ahead than we think. And we're gone. And we're gone. All right, two more goes. Two more goes. Stay away from Mr. Red. Okay, one more go, one more go. But I think we've got quite a few doors done, actually. I reckon we'll have 11 doors left. And I promise you I'm not counting. Right, let's have a look. Let's have a look. So we go home, and we go to this is you. Oh, I was close. I was close. It's twelve doors left. All right, okay. Ah, oh, doesn't come much closer than that, does it? Oh no, go home. Go play. Select you. Right down we go again. Down we go again. Oh, stay away from that one. Oh, I die so quick. You can see some of the repeats on the landscape actually. It's not quite. Oh, it's not quite fully random. It's like the, the, there's blocks that's random, which gives you the different gameplay that you have. All right. Okay. Away from that. Oh, there's one there as well. Okay, we're dead. We're gonna be doing these doors one at a time. But we have to see the new character. I do hope it gives you some kind of advantage 
you know, because that will make unlocking the rest of the characters, you know, a little bit more fruitful. Because you know, you you you, you want you want a reason. You want a reason to upgrade your characters. You want a reason to um. You know, that was the point that bloody run. Um, you want a reason to upgrade your characters. You want a reason to progress here. You know, I do hope it's not just going to be a graphical asset change. Oh, the doors. Yes, doors. We want doors. Shield. All right, that might be helpful. Okay, not so helpful, not so helpful. Yeah, this game, I don't know if it would be possible, but would make, you know, something like this, a really good Game Boy game or a really good NES game. In fact, it feels, it feels like it should be a NES game in some respects. It really does. All right, okay. We gotta be there, we gotta be oh, Ah yes, look new characters unlocked. Alright, so let's go home. Yes, they do! Look, he starts with 30 swords. Now now things are maybe gonna get spicy. Ah, oh, look at him, he is our new hero. And he's wearing sunglasses, he's wearing sunglasses. Alright, grab that. 30 swords. Oh yes, now 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 things are good. And it's insta kill as well. Alright, so 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 we, we we can make progress. Oh I died. I died there. There's there, there's gotta be a method to their movement in how this works and how you kill them. Alright, new high score. Alright, we're gonna have a few more goes with this. I think I reckon that it's to do with the squares they're going to move on. Yes, yes, maybe it is, or maybe it isn't. Because we've got a sword that was used there. Sometimes you die, sometimes you don't. Alright, shield, yes. So we have swords, and we got shields. All right, so the shields protect our hearts. The swords sometimes seem to attack. All right, let's go again. Let's go again. We won't unlock another character on this run unless a friggin' miracle happens. But, 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 you know, we get to see a little bit more. Okay, so we only lost one heart there. Oh, we can't go back on those tiles because when the pits happen, the pits do happen. Right, somehow we killed that spider quite happily. It's all about position. I think it's all about where when the enemy um, wants to move into the square and you're there, they die. Maybe not. Maybe not. Well, that put that to the test and that failed. But I think it's a high score. Oh, maybe not. All right, a few more goes, a few more goes, and we will be done. But yeah, you get the idea of this. This is a lovely little game. This is, you know, as cheap as a decent bag of crisps. Oh, look at that. We somehow navigated through those with no pain. Oh, no. Up, 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 up. Run. I'm having a bit of time to think now. I'm, I'm getting the hang of this. Oh, look at this. I'm learning very slowly. Although I died there and I think I had no choice. Yeah, we're slowly getting the hang of this. Still not figured out the deaths 100%, but it doesn't matter. All right. So 30 sword. 
29 sword. All right, let's... See, that didn't kill it. All right, we're, we're going to try to just to kill something. We need to watch our hearts. I'm just going to try and kill something. We're going to try and kill something now. Deliberately. So, three hearts down once. Two hearts. All right, okay. He says, thinking he knows what's going on. Down one. All right, go right. Right, yes. So, if the enemy is facing away from you... I can kill that one. Oh. Oh, that was a little close. That was a little close there. Okay, that was too close. I got killed by an enemy, but I was trying to avoid the red thing. Oh, glorious. A new high score. One more go. So I got attacked once, I've lost a heart there. And I lost a heart there. But yes, you got smacks. Alright, so we're going to go home. And we're just going to have a quick look at the others. Have we nearly unlocked anything else? There was a 16 one there, 16 of 60. Yeah, no, it's going to take a little while for us to unlock anything else. A little while. But yeah, I've had fun with this. I've had fun with this. And for me, I would say Super Dungeon Muncher is the game that you don't know that you may want. You know, it, it really looks like it's a good, solid, fun game to be having on the mobile. I keep reverting back to mobile because you know what? Uh, if games can hop between platforms and keep the good quality that you've got, then that's a big thumbs up for me. But yeah, no, hope you've enjoyed the video. All of you stay safe, all of you take care, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye. Remember, Gentlemen's Pixel Club. Watch it, enjoy it, like and subscribe, and always play to win. Always.